everyone welcome back to shaki's lifestyle hope you guys are doing well and staying safe so in today's video i'm going to show you how to make diy towel for wedding engagement or any ceremony uh, using a charger plate acrylic cone rhinestones hey my niece here saying hi okay so yeah rhinestones charger plate uh, acrylic cones i'll show you how to make them in the next clip some candles the size that you like some ribbons that's all about it and i'm gonna seal it with mod podge so next i'm gonna show you how to make the acrylic cones basically you take those um creamy consistency acrylic paste and then make a henna cone like thingy and just uh, start drawing your according design so as you can see i took the charger plate clean it out um, with some alcohol wipes and then start designing any designs that i like since it was um, an engagement ceremony I was just following their theme pink and gold so I just went to Michaels and choose those colors everything I used here is from Michaels um, I love their quality even though sometimes they're a little bit pricey but um, the quality is always good you can buy um, from any place uh, it doesn't have to be Michaels so as you can see I was just following my heart doing a design that I like that will make the charger plate look full with the de decoration so it doesn't have to be henna design Design, you know you can choose any kind of design that you like I kept some detailed clip here in case anybody's interested also there are some pictures added too in case if you wanna just um, you know follow the pictures to make your own designs anything you like sometimes I just do um, name theme decorations personalize it the way you like so yeah, it's a design and design and more designs. Don't get bored. There's more stuff. I'm going to do candles too. And I, in this video, I shared everything. So here I am using some rhinestones. Um, I used pink rhinestones here. Um, they are very good quality. Um, they were on sale though. Uh, usually they're $4.99, but I got it for like $2.99. So um, sometimes if you want the uh, glues are not that good with those rhinestones, use a uh, Mod Podge. It also helps you to stick. And of course, after I, I'm done with the designs, I'm going to use um, Mod Posh to seal everything once it's dry. Uh, I prefer sealing with Mod Posh because then the design never gets dirty. Or if it gets dirty, you can always wash it with a clean wipe. And as you can see, the magenta detailing is done too. Yeah, and it looks pretty good. So I'm going to do a little bit more designs and I'll be done with the charger plate. Ta-da! I'm done with the charger plate and it looks so good, mashallah. So I'm just gonna let it dry and when it's dried, I'm just gonna put on some Mod Podge. And look at the detailing, voila, looks so good. So full, so good, so flowery, just love the combination. since i'm done with the charger plate now i'm gonna hop on to making the candles so i took the bigger pillar candle first and i'm just gonna put a scotch tape um, and cut the heart shape out of a regular paper so you know i can outline it better because sometimes when you do freehand um, it gets messy and then you have to clean it up again so yeah i just uh, put it with a scotch tape and then outline it and you can see it came out real nice and then i can start work
so that's the final look i hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share with your friends and family thank you so much and take care